Alright, so this is just kind of a test I wanted to do. Try and antique some regular printer paper with just regular wood glue and water. So I figured I had these blueprints sitting in my drawer and I wanted to get around to making something for them. So I figured I'd try it with this. So hopefully you guys like it. I ended up adding more glue to the water after that first coat. I just didn't record it. It's kind of a touch and go thing depending on how much you like it or don't like it. You just got to kind of figure out the mixture for yourself. This is where I got impatient and I just wanted to hurt and get it dry before the night was over so I get the glue up going on it. The heat gun worked, but I think it kind of might have screwed up the finish a little bit, but it didn't turn out so bad. Alright, so right here I'm just sizing up the leftover wood all the way up to the edge of the paper. Just have a nice crisp looking line on it. This is just some red up plywood I had left over for some stair treads I bought. Nothing special, just standard red oak. I think it's a half inch or something like that. And if it's any consolation, the rigid table saw is absolutely awesome. If you're thinking about getting one, I highly recommend it. So again, this is all just real straightforward joining around, just butt joining it all together. And I'm just sizing up all the pieces, getting get it all cut for get it ready for the glue up. This is where that old saying comes in with woodworkers, you can never have enough clamps. Alright, right here I'm just adding up some epoxy to put on the joints just for some added strength. I just, I'm always paranoid when it comes to butt joints, especially if it's something I'm going to hang on the wall. So I just added some epoxy in there on all the joints and made it seep down in there just for the hell of it.
Now this is a, a can of clear I got. I don't remember where I got it from. It's been sitting on my shelf. It's, it's real thick, so it doesn't run. But when you spray it on real heavy, it turns white. But once it dries, it's a nice clear glaze, nice gloss finish. Just spray the whole thing a couple times and sand it in between coats. Yeah, I'm just using baling wire and some screws to put on a for a hanger. And here I'm just sticking up on the wall next to my other poster. I just spray glued to some wood and made a frame. I uh, hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching.